Well, we are just 10 days away from the NFL draft, and we got a super quick turnaround on Mel Kuyper's drafts. These are in the comment section. Somebody asked me for a mock draft, and I personally think they're dumb. I just, it's kind of like to me picking the score. There's no point in doing them. I just, I literally do them because there's something to do. I just don't want to waste my time, right? Because the Detroit Lions, you have no idea what the score is going to be to a game, and you have no idea who people are going to pick. These are just something fun to do. I have fun talking about other people's mock drafts. I'm not really a mock draft guy. That's just not what I do. But I don't mind talking about other people's mock drafts. And we got a super quick turnaround. We just did another one before of Mel Kuyper. That must have been 2.0 because this is 3.0. I want to say... With the draft being less than two weeks away, there might be one more. It's usually three to four that he does. I think last year he only did three major mock drafts. He's by himself now. He used to have Todd McShay, and Todd no longer works for ESPN. So we are with this guy again, and I hope that this comes through a little louder than it did before. Who in the hell is Mel Kuyper, in a way? Mel Kuyper. Shout out to the person in the comment section that said, when I asked the question about what was the last? Who was the last pick that Mel Kiper made for the Detroit Lions that we took? And that was Jeff Okuda. So, you know, I don't know what Mel's track record is, but at least he's at least one for something when it comes to the Detroit Lions. What a horrendous pick that was. Not surprising that both Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn were on their way out the door the same year they drafted Jeff Okuda. But let's Go ahead and do what will, what will probably be the final time. The Mel Kuyper mock draft. Who are the Detroit Lions going to take? I only do these if they are new names. If they're not new names, I don't do them because what is the point? So without further ado, let's get this thing started. This time I'm making sure my sound effects are working. With the 29th pick in the 2024 NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select... Darius Robinson, defensive lineman, Missouri. He don't even have a designation. He just lineman. He's not a tackle or he can so versatile. Says Robinson was unblockable at the Silverdome. I'm sorry, at the Senior Bowl. He was unblockable. My mind was all over the place at Senior Bowl practices in early February. He's a bit of a tweener. Wow. So like in sync or what? And he might be a be better as a three technique tackle. He could play some snaps at in in Detroit. Well, I tell you what, Mel don't sound too confident. Sound like he just threw that out there, like yeah, called the brother a tweener. Like every little thing I do, it's gonna be May. Well, it's almost May anyway. So I don't know, man. A tweener? That's kind of disrespectful. I'm 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 thinking, you know, Darius should pull up on. Mel Kuyper. You know what? Mel Kuyper, let me give you another one, bro. Because you just don't. What, what did we talk Who in the hell is Mel Kuyper? Calling anyway? somebody a tweener. What's wrong with you? All right, let's get it going. Who does he have as the next pick? Here we go. With the 61st pick in the 2024 NFL. Oh, wait a minute. I Did I do it? Hold on. Got to make sure I do this right. All right, with the 61st pick in the 2024 NFL draft. The Detroit Lions select Javon Bullard, safety Georgia, says, I recently picked Bullard, my uh, top-ranked safety in our big super team draft. He can do it all. So he's like Brian Branch. The Lions landed Brian Branch in round two last year. If they could build an elite, and they could build an elite duo with these two. Hmm, shallow and pedantic. Uh, we do need a safety. We would have our defensive linemen in the first round, a safety in the second. Hmm. I don't know. Not too sure about that, but I can only imagine what that would look like. Yeah. Okay, Mel. Okay, Mel. Let's see what else you got cooking. Let's get to round three. Where are we picking round three? 70 as of right now. 73rd. Here we go. With the 73rd pick in the 2024 NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select Bub Means, wide receiver Pittsburgh, says Means was one of my combine risers in February. He has big hands and long arms, and, he's, and he ran a 4 
0.43 second 40 in Indianapolis. He was also very productive in college, leading the ACC with 18 contested catches in 2023. Well, we do need a guy who can contest catches and make them and or who can make contested catches. And a guy like Bub, Bub means I don't really know too much about this guy and the pick before him, the safety and the wide receiver. But we do need, what other positions do we need? We could use an offensive lineman, but are we going to take one early? Do you? Where's our cornerback? Do we need a cornerback over safety? So put in the comments below, where are you at? Cornerback safety. We still got a void left by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. We do need a safety. Justin Simmons is still on the market. Maybe, I, I think these guys would be signed after the draft. And then you have a wide receiver. Okay, so Darius Robinson I can ra rock with. They all positions that we need. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'd rather hear you this time because I, I really believe this is going to be it for Mel Kuyper, the final mock draft. Like I said, he only does three, I think. But with Todd McShay being gone, he might pull another one like the week of the draft because we still this is quite early in my opinion but i think that maybe it's out because this is the final week for pre-draft visits after wednesday or thursday you can no longer do it so i don't i'm we'll make a a pre-draft visit video for the detroit lions so give me your thoughts in the comments below mel kuyper says darius robinson at 25 bub 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 means at 73 and then Javon Bullard at 61. I feel like Brad going to trade. I feel like he going to trade out of one of those picks, man. We shall see. But the better your team gets, the less kind of picks you need uh, to pick in the NFL draft. So we shall see. And now for the announcement. I got the Black Lion. It's in my possession. We will be having a giveaway for that before the NFL draft. So be ready. You will have plenty of time to know, plenty of time to enter, and we will do the spin wheel one more again. So consider subscribing to the YouTube channel so you won't miss it. Don't forget, we'll be live for the NFL draft as well, all three days. I'll be on with some special guests at least day one, and then day three is going to be long, bro. So make sure y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell, and Come join the fun because it is going to be fun. We had a blast last year, and I expect us to have another one this year. Leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. This channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. Consider becoming a member of the YouTube channel as well for as low as $2.99 per month. My other tiers as well, that $14.99 tier going to pick up as the season gets closer because check out one of the perks, man. I think y'all going to like it. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.